running away with the circus. Some of us dream of it, the glamour, the music, life on the road. But with jaw-dropping stunts being pulled in every Hollywood blockbuster nowadays, can the big top really compete with the big screen? And what's special about this circus? It's the first time we can see in England this kind of magic show in a circus tour. Uh, all the illusions were built in Vegas and are absolutely never seen before. And uh, you can see especially also a new illusion revisited, a new sewing in half, where the audience can really see the blades, the hydraulic blades, going down and cutting the lady in half uh, without box. So it's absolutely impressive. Uh, we try to be a little less traditional. We have two catchers in our act and a Russian swing as well. So normally when people think of the flying trapeze, they think of either bar to bar swinging or a bar to a catcher. Um, but we can make heaps of combinations with our act, jumping from swing to catcher, catcher to catcher, catcher to bar. There's always an element of danger. Definitely there's injuries. Um, I would say everyone in our group has had an injury at some point. Um, you train really hard to try and avoid that kind of thing, but um, it's part of the job. Two hours of tricks, flips and fun twice a day. But even performers must have a favourite. For me, all show, every number is perfect. You need for me good show, good at. If for this you have two hours, very good at. All the program is very strong. Seeing you have a beautiful Frank Trapeze act, we have a um, beautiful um, high wire act and trapeze, many aerial acts, some good clowns from Spain. I think it's a very entertaining uh, show for all family. For me, this year it's an exciting show. There's always something new coming. You're on the edge of your seat thinking, you know, what's going to be next? I want to see this, I want to see that. Even today, there remains something intriguing, a fascination with life in the circus. The excitement of travelling, living on the margins. But what is it really like? It's very nice. We have a nice caravan and... Uh, so it's a normal life, you know, it's just not a boring life, like uh, going in the office every day. It's, it's, it's really, um, it's my life, I love it. You is free, you can visit always. Uh, you know many people, every year you change, you know, this person, the other person is like family. The big, big family in secrets. Still thinking of joining? Well, it might not be as hard as you think. Craig joined in his mid-twenties after just two years of training. Uh, I, I got into circus quite late in life, so I was 26 um, when I started professionally. Um, but when I was younger, I did gymnastics from when I was 12 until 18 years old. So that definitely gave me a, a background to be able to come in really quickly. So I trained flying trapeze itself for two years but I already had the background of um, the gymnastics and doing somersaults and body awareness. Um, and even in saying that, you know, I didn't come into flying trapeze doing the tricks that I'm doing at the moment. Um, I've built that up over the seven years. I came in at the very bottom of flying trapeze, you know, I was a very basic member of the group. So there you have it. Running off with the circus may not be a pipe dream after all. Charlotte Buredney, Solent News Now.